Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Terra Firma Craft with myself, Lewis. Hope you're all good. And I have just been heating up some of my tin, getting it into one of these very nice ceramic moulds here. Um, I'm thinking we're going to make ourselves a prospector's pick. And this is going to come in mega, mega useful for anything really that we're going to do when it comes to search of drawers. Because the next real big thing we need to do is find some beautiful ores. Now, this is a lot harder than you might think. Uh, there are a few things we need to do. I need to get some paper and some markings once again. And we're going to make a, uh, a design for the prospector's pick. And if I remember how this goes, it's something like this, unless it's this way around. I always have problems with these because I can never seem to remember them. Is it you? Uh, is that it? Prospector's pick. Yeah, there we go. Nice. One prospector's pick. Alright, I'm probably actually going to take these with me because I'm actually in the middle of moving everything to my new home. So, let's uh, get going. Now, the prospector's pick allows you to search in the 25 by 25 by 25 area around Z player on where you strike. And the cool thing about it is it will tell you whether you're close to any type of valuable metal or ore, whatever you want to put it, I guess. And, you know, that's that's wicked because it means that it's a lot easier to grab all the stuff that we need. Oh, I'm really, really tempted to kill those sheep. <laughs> but, yeah, we need as many materials as we can get. And I think, really, t we need to find a good vein. You know, there's nothing wrong with finding a good vein underground. We do need one. And then once we've harvested it, the chances are we might have to go back under the ground for a, a little while. Gonna need a drink though, because I'm getting a little bit thirsty. So I'm just gonna go down and have a little, uh, little sip. And we're actually gonna combat the drinking this episode as well, because I'm getting quite tired of having to always go and get water to supplement my thirst. So I'm thinking we're going to find a way around that one as well, which is fairly easy. Um, but it's not too bad. Made myself a door. Check that out. That is, uh, that means I'm winning. Now I'm gonna get a. What do I want? I want some. I don't want support beams. I just want some regular wood. Now let's have a look at how to make a bucket. Now you can't use regular buckets. Use these guys, wooden buckets. Well, I guess you could use the other buckets if you want, but the wooden buckets are really what you need. And to do this, you just need some oak planks like that, or some planks, and just throw them like that. Now, have we got planks? No, we have not. That's all right, we can, uh, we can do some craftage, I hope. Let's put you like this, and give me some planks. There we go, very nice. And we'll make some of these guys. Gonna need a crafting table down here anyway, so we might as well make a crafting table. Turn the rest of these into planks like that. Oh my god, look at all the planks. And oh nice. I didn't know you could do that. Look at that. That is that is something else. That is oh jeez, that is that's the best thing ever. Alright. So one crafted tablet. Now we need to turn like this, isn't it? There we go. One wooden bucket. Now the weird thing with water in Terra Firma Craft is it does kind of react in a pretty weird way. Uh, I'm just going to show you, it's easier to show you than anything else. So instead of placing a block of water, a water source, and allowing it to just flow freely but stay at its main source, with this, the source, it hasn't got a source. So once you put it down and let it run, it just, it just disappears. Look. And that's it. There we go. Water disapparated. Doesn't really flow that much either, so yeah. Now, obviously, storing the water is the same as you would normally do, so it's not too much hassle. But it means you can't do cool things like uh, going down deep wells and ravines with water. That doesn't happen. But yeah, it's not too bad. So I'm going to place some water in my base, and we should be fine. Probably going to put it here. Um, there we go. Now, if I get a bit thirsty, I can just sit in my little bath. And uh, voila, everything will be good. Now let's throw these guys in here. I'm gonna keep the planks because we'll probably need those. Don't need you. Uh, we we'll, might need you. Don't need you. We need you. We need you. And I've got my hammer. I think I have everything I'm going to need. But I do, once again, need to heat this guy up. But that's fine because we've got some stuff up here we can use. So let's go up and have a gander. Is this guy actually running? No, he's not. Let's get some logs in there and get him started. 
There we go. Throwing in the logs. Nice. Uh, we need to make a fire starter, which, once again, I forgot the recipe for. So let's have a look. That's just two sticks. Okay, how can I forget that recipe every time? There we go. One fire starter. Very nice. And would you give you a little oomph? There we go. Cool. So he's building up. Now, this is the tricky part because I really, really don't want my liquids to fall out. So it might be worth just grabbing, I don't know, grabbing my other mold just in case. So that way we can still work on it and without any of it going everywhere and going all evil and horrible. I think I'm going to get attacked by <laughs> evil minions in a minute as well. So I'm going to be a little bit careful when doing this, but we should be good. Let's put my uh, thing on here as well. There we go. So you can go in there. And we don't need to put any recipe or anything in there just yet because we're not actually making anything this time. We're just going to try and get the metal out of this mold. And with the mold, we're then good to go make our head for our prospector's pick. Now, I'm not too sure how hot this guy needs to be. Pretty sure it's, I don't know, hot two or very hot two or let's try hot three and see what happens shall we so hot three can i work on it are you going to work yes you are so what have we got uh hit 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 all right we can do that uh hit 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 hey there we go tiny ingot there we go nice tin ingot now you're still hot can i work on you because if i can work on you i'll do it now is it gonna work let's give it a try shall we Hold on, where's my hammer gone? Oh, there it is. Get back on your throne, young one. There we go. Alright, you gonna work? Can I? No, I can't. Alright, fair enough. We're gonna have to heat this guy up. That's alright, though, because we'll put him in there. And we'll remember that we have... Kind of around about... What is it? Like, hot free or something? Before it goes into our mould? I know very hot isn't good, so let's try it like this, shall we? So, we'll put this guy back on here again and you can go in there with you now it needs to go bend draw punch okay so oh, 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 oh. so bend draw punch bam there we go one prospector's pick nice and we'll turn you into a actual item and we have a prospector's pick nice so if i do this now it says found nothing of interest so it means around here that there is nothing of interest evidently but if we keep going around we could hopefully find something now i'm hoping that down inside here there's gonna be something so it makes my life a lot easier but the chances are, oh, oh, found a large sample of native copper. Oh, nice. We're right next to a large sample of native copper. Uh, traces. Nothing. Uh, so medium, small, large, and large. So I'm guessing it's kind of under here somewhere, probably, hopefully, you know, maybe. So let's uh, have a little dig and just see what we can do. At least while it's night outside, we haven't really got to worry about it. Let me show you my uh, my water bath. Watch me drink. There we go. Beautiful. That is beautiful. So let's get digging. Now we need to go quite far down, hoping that my pick is going to hold out. And I can hear the skellywax down there, so that is not a good thing. Let's see if this rock's going to fall. No, he is not. Good. Very good. I'm not too sure how far down we have to dig for this though. Apparently you can see it after so long. So I found very large... It's almost as if it's all around me, but down in this direction, because down here... So nothing of interest, large sample, large sample, nothing of interest, large sample. It kind of looks like it's like almost in this direction. Like, it must be underground somewhere, so let's keep digging. And hopefully we're not going to have a cave in, because... <laughs> I definitely do not want a cave in. That would be very bad. Oh, I'm right under my water as well. Nice. All right, I'm gonna have a dig, and we'll be right back once we've found something slightly useful. Hey, look what I found! We found some copper. We have struck gold. And let me just show you my digging route so you can get a good idea of how much I've actually dug. So we have dug quite a bit. And go up here, and this should take me to, yeah, here. And this is the home. Now, if we go down here, you'll see that I've dug a few roots. So down there, and down there, and around here. 
and down there a little bit and bang here was our copper and you can see as I was going around so there's nothing of interest I came down here and there was a large sample but nothing of interest and then we found very large up here it's showing nothing of interest kind of very large around that way so there might still be down there um, but there was a very large down here which is very good and if we go click on it Bam, found native copper, nice. So we're gonna take as much of this as possible without causing a cave-in. Hopefully we're gonna be fine. I kind of found that if you dig in like like this, like you're strip mining, it doesn't seem to occur. If you dig kind of recklessly, which this might be classed as recklessly because I'm just I'm digging all over the place, then that is when problems happen, but we'll see. I've known it to, uh, be picky when it wants to decide to uh, fall down on your head but I think today could be a good day you know at least I hope it's gonna be a good day now when you find the big amounts like this you get far more than the small traces that you find on land so it means that we can make a lot more bars out of this without having to scavenge the ground for all of the little bits that are around and generally when you find ravines like this or very nice kind of uh, copper deposits or whatever metal you find I guess you normally find quite big ones so you can see here we found you know we found quite a bit of this stuff and it goes up pretty high so I'm hoping that we're not well I'm kind of thinking we might have a cave in but I'd, I'm hoping we're not going to. It's still kind of class to strip mine, I guess. I was reading a wiki and they're saying as long as you keep it small and discreet, then you're not going to have a problem. Which, you know, I don't, I don't think we'll have a problem. If we do, I've got pretty fast legs. I can run. I know you guys don't normally see me run, but I can run pretty fast. So, yes, I'll have to get my racing boots on. Wow, this is a pretty decent amount of copper we got here. How much we got? Wow. Wow, look at all this copper. This is like easily enough to like last us for ages. Now, this is where the problem comes in because you can't smelt copper on a wooden log fire. It doesn't happen. It never reaches its melting point, so it will never fall into a mold. Uh, how you actually make copper into something useful, I do not know. <laughs> Like I say, I don't know everything about this. I actually know quite little. This is a learning experience as me, for me as much as it is for you. And because of that, that's why the episodes haven't been out as frequent. Because I'm still trying to learn this. And I don't want to do an episode where I'm just dawdling around. That would be boring. Unless you want to see me doing an episode just dawdling around. Um, I, I guess you don't. But if you did, um, I still wouldn't do one. Because it would be very boring for me. This copper vein was so big, so big, that I've literally almost used up my axe, or my, my pick. That, that's insane. That is literally insane. Like, look how much I have. <laughs> I don't even think you could find veins that big. Like, I know when I read the wiki they were saying the veins in this are rather big. I didn't think they would be this big. Like, look at this. Like, all of that, yeah? But that goes all the way back there. Like, how big is this thing? This is, ridic this is redonkulous. I'm just going to keep doing it until my pick breaks. I think if we can grab as much as we can, and then we at least we know it's down here, don't we? Because this is just mental. This is insane. And I'm pretty sure you only need like three of these to fill up and make an actual, uh, fill up one of the, um, oh, there we go. Yeah, make an ingot out. So that's, uh, wow. <laughs> All right. So let's get back upstairs, and I'm thinking we're going to make one last thing before we wrap this episode up. One last thing is something that we're going to need for smelting all this ore because in between me knocking all that ore away I went and made myself a cup of tea and when I made my cup of tea I decided I would have a little looky see and find out how we make or actually use all of this native copper and I found out so we're going to does this go yeah this goes in there nice uh, we're gonna we're gonna make a charcoal pit or a coal pit or a pit of death I don't know whatever you want to call it I guess but we're gonna need some dirt and we're gonna need a lot of dirt and we're gonna need a lot of planks all right so we've got we haven't got enough wood to do this there is no way we have enough wood to do this so I'm thinking I might have to go and get some more wood or spend a little bit of time making some more woody woody wood I guess we could try it smaller but I don't think it's gonna work I don't know I just don't know I guess if um, I guess if we do make it smaller and it doesn't work then it's not really a problem because it means we can then go ahead and still kind of 
you know, just harvest it all back up and use it again. So I guess we could do it for demo purposes. And then once I've got more wood, we can actually do it for real. But it should look quite nice if we do it now with all the in a dark place, you know, with the, with the night sky coming down. Oh, it looks so pretty. So, all right. Now, let's grab as much of these logs as we can, because we're going to need a lot of logs. Now, really, we're going to want to fill these guys, but uh, I might be able to get away with not filling them for the time being. Now, I'm going to dig into here. And we're going to make this one very small, very small, just to see how it goes. So we'll put, oh damn, I didn't want to do that, really didn't want to do that. So yeah, we're going to make a, uh, like a fire pit type thing. Um, and we're going to make ourselves some coal. Because the one thing we need when it comes to smelting our copper is we need a multi-block structure, which we'll show off at another point. But we need to feed it coal, because it won't run off of wood, which is... Uh, which is not that hard to get once you've got one of these big pits set up or when you just keep using them because I've heard that they give you absolutely tons and tons of the stuff a bit like the uh, bit like the copper vein downstairs like you only need to find one and then then you never need to find one again after that jeez this this wood is taking so long to break really really I know I'm hitting you with your own kind but come on You're taking forever I just want to just want to make my pit it takes 20 minutes once you've made it. 20 minutes to do anything. That means I'm going to get to have another cup of tea. <laughs> All right, I think we've almost broke this guy. Did Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> All right, let me get myself ready and then we'll build this guy. All right, so I've sorted myself out a little bit more. Uh, I went and had a little sleepies because I had a zombie trying to attack me. And I've made this little guy here. Now, what we're going to do is... We're going to fill these with some logs, and I don't know how many. Let's just go with two each for the time being, because I really don't want to run out of logs. Like, that would really suck. Uh, whether these need to be full, though, like I said, I don't know. So they, I could be doing this totally wrong, but we will find out in due time when I come back from having my cup of tea and nothing's happened. But I'm sure it will. You know, I'm, I'm sure it will. I have faith in this. There's an enderman right behind me. Oh, my God. Uh, there we go. All right, let's lay down another layer of logs. A bit of loggage. Oh, no, I don't think I can lay these down until these guys are full. That could be a issue. Uh, let's pick you like this. Can I lay them against it? Yeah, I can lay them against it. Cool, there we go. All right, so we'll lay you like this. Uh, take these guys. Pick you like this. Nice. Alright, so the la we only need to fill one last in on the top, which isn't too bad. So let's try and fill these with as many as possible. We'll try two each um, and see how we kind of get from there. There we go. There we go. One thing I did notice, if you guys are using NEI for any of the stuff, because uh, I made the fatal mistake a minute ago of uh, making a new axe, um, NEI doesn't show you any of the napping recipes, so do not rely on NEI for finding any of your napping recipes. If you need to find them, go onto the Terra Firma Craft wiki wiki, and you'll be able to get it from there. Because I was looking earlier, I was thinking I need a stone pickaxe, uh, and a stone axe, and it shows you the regular, but that doesn't work. Uh, the stone axe here, the medium, only shows you this, but it doesn't actually show the napping recipe. Didn't know you could use a bone, though. That's pretty interesting. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to... Well, first, I think we're gonna we're gonna fill this with dirt. Well, we're gonna surround it with dirt. Apparently, that's what you have to do. So we'll surround it with dirt. Got any more dirt? Yeah, I got more dirt. Nice. Really, really. Jesus. All right, there we go. All right, so surrounded by dirt. Now, apparently we have to do this level as well. Yeah, before you do that. <laughs> have I got my shovel on me? Yes, I have. Okay. And you. You're all going to go in there, aren't you? You're mocking me. I'm being trolled by dirt. This is, <laughs> this is not cool. All right. Alright, oh, I've got myself stuck out of the night. Okay, right. I can do this. I can do this. 
I'm getting a real hissy for no reason. All right, so we've done that. Now, pretty sure I've gone too deep. Yes, I have. All right, so we only need to do it one deep because it needs to be where the wood is. Now we need to put a fire in there. So let's go ahead and make a fire. Throw some sticks in there. Come on, work. Yeah, there we go, nice. Um, I have no idea if I need to put logs in there or whatnot. Let's hope I don't because there's already a little bit of stuff in there. Now, apparently we have to put a log here and then fill the rest up with dirt and then leave it. Apparently this takes 20 minutes. Uh, it's going to burn away and do stuff. And apparently if you don't put the dirt on the sides, it's going to do horrible stuff and and make 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 stuff burn we'll give it a try in a minute i guess but i'm gonna give this some time and we will see what happens all right let's check see how our fire pit is doing our coal pit now i don't think it's totally done just yet but we can only have a look apparently if it catches light that's a good sign um is this a good sign i don't know oh yeah there we go there we go it's working Good times, good times. All right, so I guess now we just have to leave it and wait, I guess. Jeez, it's gonna take forever. Thinking I might actually run home quickly and check on my pigs because we're not too far away from home and I wanna see if they breed yet, if we've got a baby pig. Should be three of them in there, three of the little oinkers. And we're not that far away, so we shouldn't have too many problems from evil stuff. Just have a little drink, a little gander. Oh, there's a creeper. <laughs> oh, there's another one there as well. Okay, right. We're a. Uh, oh, there's another one. Okay, right. We're right in the uh, in the midst of hell. Oh, there we go. In the uh, anus of hell. I'm thinking that this could have been a bad idea, but we're like 50 meters away, so we should be fine. Okay, and we're getting a bit hungry as well. All right, we're here with the pigs. Now, have we got any baby oinkers? One, two, three. Jesus. She's still pregnant? How long is she going to be pregnant? Oh, jeez. How long is she going to be pregnant for? Make sure no one's creeping up on me. Uh, yeah, he's still pregnant. Like, do it. <laughs> do it. Oh, maybe one day she's going to give birth. And it'll be a glorious day. It'll be the best day. Oh, Jesus. It's always the same with pigs. I wonder if I've got anything in here I can take to my new base as well. Ah. Uh, uh, I'll take the clay and the arrows, my stone knife, might as well take the rest of the copper as well, even though we now have the burst copper going, take this, because we might need that, so I'm not ready for cultivation just yet, so I think that's probably going to be enough. Now once we've got all the coal, the next thing to do is go ahead and make uh, another, it's, like I say, it's a, it's a big multi-block thing can't remember the name of it but once we've made it then uh, oh my jesus christ all right that was definitely not very good <laughs> just gonna uh, just gonna run away a little bit that kind of threw me for a second there wow yeah so back to uh, as i was saying we will make loads of coal from this device um and then we'll make this other thing that we put the coal in and we should be able to do some serious smelting then and we should be able to smelt some of the some of the stuff that takes a lot longer to smelt. Let's check on here, see how this is doing. All right, we're not there just yet. Is it still catching fire though? That is the sign. Come on, catch on fire. Come on. If it catch on fire, that's a good sign. Yeah, there we go. Cool. All right, I'm gonna have a sleep, and I'll be right back, and we'll see how we're doing. So check this out guys, I've come back from a very well deserved tea break to find this thing. It looks like it's imploded on itself and died and we're left with this horrible brown substance at the bottom. And I'm thinking this is going to be coal, so let's have a look shall we. Uh, charcoal, nice, and it, wow it stacks in weird levels as well, oh that's pretty cool. Cool. So I don't think we've got, we've only got five, what's this, going to be six or seven, seven. Seven. So we didn't get too much from this, but I'm guessing that's due to us not using much wood. I guess if you made a bigger version, you'd get a lot more wood. And I think you can make these somewhere up to like 15 by 15 or 10 by 10, like some ridiculous amount. Uh, if you did that, you'd probably completely fill your inventory up with charcoal, which would be amazing. 
but would take some time to build and you'd need to go through a lot of axes to get all of your wood. So yeah, like I say, trial and error version this one was. Next time we'll build the biggest one going. <laughs> Alright guys, so that has been that for this episode of Terra Firma Craft. I hope you have enjoyed it. Obviously if you enjoyed it, then give it a little thumbs up and uh, I hope you enjoyed me just uh, knocking that down. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one and goodbye.